Jolly, and I'm in 11th grade. Hi, my name is Tamaya Bender, and I'm in 12th grade, and we're all from Bellevue West. Fly! And our poem is titled, The Future We Demand. A blood orange grass lines the horizon. Green thickets poke out and beg for water. They are as new as the land's new master. This is the untamed frontier. This is the land for a false pioneer. Men shall rebel under the unyielding scorch of sun, plow the sod into submission, and lay stolen seeds. Where are these giants of cultivation now? Tell me where the passion for pouring blood into the earth and humming along with its rhythm fled. They led the submission of this tall prairie grass. They led its destruction. We are the grasping for a doomed future. The oceans, the rivers, and seas are oily, acidic, and dark. Can you feel the heartbeat under your feet weaken? There is a beacon yelling for help past the crushing Costa Rican waves fighting the toxins. The oceans are mourning the losses of sea creatures. Hear us ask, when will we acknowledge the waste of life? How much can the animals take? choking on six-pack rings and bottle caps. When can sea turtles swim? When can dolphins dance? When can whales sing? We are We're left to shake oils like hands. Human industry, what we build tears us apart. These power plant cities aren't safe. Oil refineries pump pollutants into the air. Now we have smoke, smog, and soot. Factory smoke, people smoke. There's too much smoke. Heating atmosphere, less trees, less oxygen, toxic air. How are we breathing? How will we grow? It's dangerous to step outside in cities that will drain you of life, drain you of hope. We are living while you are dying. We are not to suffocate on old dreams of industry. Let those lungs breathe. Feel the disintegration. Open your eyes, ears, mouth, and welcome the sting of a burning world. Our blanket of smog lays us to bed and warms the sweltering heat. Mouths are left contaminated from ever depleting soil. The culture of consumption cultivated by a crumbling class has inserted itself permanently in our minds. Let that class fail to use the increasingly hoarse voice worn by it in past generations. Why must our skin crawl before our exhausted new hearts are allowed to beat? We are left to call for action from unwilling ears. Listen to young minds, young hearts, young voices. Listen to our earth. We will continue to call, and we will demand response. 